My name is Carrie B. I write a column for the Like Injunction Gazette called Sex and the Single Mother and Like Injunction. My friend Bort is a retired movie werewolf. He was very popular in the 1970s and the 1980s, but is now a washed up has been. He is desperately searching for Mr. Big, or in this case, Mr. Bigfoot. He has spent the last month camping out in the Crystal Meth campgrounds, trying to prove the existence of this legendary, elusive, big fella. God, I'm horny. Bort, seriously, you've been here a month now. When are you coming home? Shandy, I am staying here until I have irrefutable proof of the existence of Bigfoot. Uh-huh. You've been here a month. And you still have nothing. Shaddy, shaddy, shaddy. Crystal Meth Campground is a very special place to me. This is where I went on my first two killing sprees. I mean, this is what defined me as a great movie werewolf. Uh-huh. It's just nice being back here, you know, and hunting and waiting for a Bigfoot to a wrath. Mm -hmm. Being away from that. What are you talking about? You love me. I'm adorable. He's so <sighs> adorable, isn't he? Down! Down, doggy. Oh, love. I have missed this. <laughs> hmm. I was thinking of how you and Shadi can make a big, big comeback. Oh, this ought to be good. I, I can't wait to hear what Pussy Boy has to offer. Mm. Oh, by the way, wasn't that trucker hot? I think we should have nailed him before you blew up his truck, though. Uh, n no, no, he was kind of gross. That's why we blew up the truck. Well, fine. By the way, you do realize this car isn't moving anymore. That's because we're at the edge of a cliff. Oh, fine. And your car doesn't magically turn into a plane when you drive over the edge of a cliff? No. It goes kersploosh in the water below. Yeah, fuck. Well, you know how uh, there's that new Rocky the Musical? Yeah, I know. It's amazing how they can musicalize any garbage these days. I could write a Broadway musical about Bart and Shaddy. After all, Shaddy is my angel of music. <gasps> a musical? Yeah, it would be fabulous, you know, for the opening scene. We could have a really, really poignant, dramatic moment. You're walking down the street. It's a busy, hectic day in New York. You're overwhelmed. And then all of a sudden, you see me in the window. How much is that doggy in the window? <laughs> I hope that doggy's for sale. <laughs> I don't have a bunny or a kitty. Oh, that would be yummy, a bunny. <laughs> Can you go catch me a rabbit? I feel like lunch. Of course, you are the original bunny boiler. Mm, yes. That is true. Well, the two of you get a room. You want to join in, pussy boy? That could be fun. Mm. But, Bort, there will be no musical until you come home with me. But, Shady. Forget about Bigfoot. I mean, this is what I belong. I hate to break it to you. Crystal Meth Campgrounds is now a Bible camp. It's, it's lost to you. Oh my god. That would explain why there were all those girls wearing jumpers and stuff. Yes. Oh, by the way, uh, I was going to give a bunch of those jumpers to you for your birthday. Uh, you don't mind them being stained with blood and shit, do you? No.
bad bad to the bone. Excuse me, young lady. That is an extremely offensive and racist song. I ought to call the ACLU on your ass. You're ruining the mood. You know, if we were in a conceal and carry state, I would teach your skanky ass a lesson and your little snakes too. Shut up, you old bag of bones. Oh my goodness, I can't believe you used such a horrible racial slur. You bed hopping stoner. You know, I'm only giving you a free pass because you're going through a bad breakup. I miss Skeletor. He was really neat. Sure, if you're into the whole boner thing. And he was very easy to beat up. I mean, anyone could beat up Skeletor. He was such a freaking whip. Uh, okay, so I'm failing to see where it went south. No. Well, I kind of like a weaker guy sometimes, but not always. It's hard being the strong one in the relationship. Daddy, I yeah. thought you were hell-bent on us getting the hell out of here. Uh, why are... when are we going home? I'm kind of busy. What? With what? I'm having a conversation with Normie. He's... he, he wants to get me all lathered up in the shower. That mama's boy, good God, Shaddy. He's not even that much of a monster, I mean... He's only killed two people in his entire life. Well, two that we know of. Under for, Achiever. I mean, he could be responsible for all those teenage girls that went missing in the 50s. Oh, whatever. That's what he wants you to think. Oh. Oh, well. I think you're just jealous. No, I don't think I'm jealous of what? It's that. also very, very difficult being a single mother and dating. I really want to find little Normie a father figure. Little Normie is 45 years old. Oh, well fine. You're not just a racist, you're also an ageist. Uh, what? No, I... Uh, oh, try to dig your one out of that hole, bitch. What the fuck is wrong with you? He's fucking 45. You didn't tell me about all the hot missionaries here. Yeah, well, I hate to break it to you, but those hot missionaries aren't so hot, because they only know how to do it in the missionary position. Trust me, I know. I was trying to do one of them doggy style the other night, and he freaked out. I'm not sure I could teach them new tricks. You've been trying to teach me new tricks for years, love. It's not working. Mm. Can I try hump your legs some more? Oh, sure, why not?
Bartholomew, what the hell are you doing in my bed? Shady, I think it's kind of obvious what I'm doing in your bed. Jeez, has it really been that long for you, dear? I know what you're doing, Bart, but why in my bed? Not yours. Ah, damn it. Now I have to well, burn Shady, my sheets again. Well, Shaddy, I would have done it in my room, except my bed's still a mess for my last date. She's in five rather large pieces, but still, it's spread all over the place. Great. Thank you for sharing. And by the way, we need more comments. Oh my goodness, is that Shaddy D. Rapelli? Is that the little slut who's been seeing my normie? I'll cut you, bitch. Well, I always knew that his taste in women was for the birds, but... <laughs> <laughs> What the hell are you laughing at, Bort? You couldn't even find my G-spot! What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Seriously, Bort? With what little she has, you still couldn't find her G-spot? Now get her paws off me, you mazy, flea-ridden mongrel! I'll make you and Shaddy wish you had never been undead! Oh. It's sad when a mother has to speak the words that condemn her own son. But I couldn't possibly take the blame for what Normie did. I mean, I couldn't take the blame for the murder. I'm not Mildred Pierce. I'm just a sweet little old lady who would never kill Bort and Shaddy. Why? I would have given harm a fly. I would have given harm. A fly. <laughs> Dr. Shapiro? <laughs> I have to cancel my appointment today. Um, yeah, there's a black cat and he's about to cross my path. Harry Bates so, took an um, axe. Gave I, Porta Bohemian with Longfellow for a few wax. When she saw what she had he done, she gave Shady D. Repelli for D1. Yeah.